Hey everybody, welcome to Pop Culture Philosophers. I'm Rockin' Robbie Billups, and it's time for the weekly Pop Culture Wrap-Up. That's right, everybody. Thanks for checking out the video. I am Rockin' Robbie Billups. This is the weekly pop culture wrap-up. It's the show where I go over the week's pop culture news, mostly comic books and movies. Let's get right into it. Swamp Thing by Rom V, Mike Perkins, and Mike Spicer has been extended. We already knew that there was going to be a season two, a continuation of the book. I was anticipating maybe another miniseries, but what's actually happening is after the series wraps at issue 10 next month, it's going to go on a hiatus until March, and return with issue number 11 and we know that we're going to get at least until issue number 16. So we got six more issues from this amazing creative team on this Swamp Thing book, this introducing a new iteration of Swamp Thing, a new character, is the host of the green, right? And it's been absolutely fantastic. I hope it actually goes longer than just six additional issues because this has been one of my favorites ever. So Swamp Thing continues in March of 2022. We also have Bone Orchard Mythos. This is from Jeff Lemire, Andrea Sorrentino. It's them returning to horror, and it's actually a shared mythology, a shared horror world that's going to be broken up. It starts in June with a, a graphic novel. There's going to be mini series. There's going to be possible one shots, other graphic novels, things like this. Different original content from Lemire, from Sorrentino, all in the shared world. Bone Orchard Mythos. Very, very excited for that. Gideon Falls, um, Primordial, Every time these two work together, it's just comic book gold. Last week, we talked about how Danny Rand was stepping away from being Iron Fist and possibly setting the way for a new Iron Fist to take over. That is indeed what's happening. Iron Fist number one in February of 2022, written by Alyssa Wong, with artwork by Michael Yig. I think is YG, Yig, Yig, something like that. Anyway, so it's a brand new Iron Fist. We don't know anything about this character. We only know the costume, what he kind of looks like, and it looks pretty interesting. A nice cover by Jim Chung. So I'm excited to check it out and see what they do. Artist Elite Comics is a new comic book company debuting in 2022 that is formed by a bunch of very talented and and commercially successful artists. Seriously, there's some really interesting titles that have been sort of announced in this book, but you're gonna have books from creators like Tyler Kirkham, Brett Booth, Ben Templesmith, John Boy Myers, Chad Harden, Freddie Williams, Ale Garza, and even more. So more on these books as they get officially solicited with like, you know, of course the whole pitch and everything like that. But if you're a fan of some solid comic book artists who you don't really see do a lot of mainstream work anymore, this is really freaking exciting. McFarlane is doing a, t a TV series called McFarland. Okay, so McFarland, which is described as Night of the Museum, meets Toy Story in Twin Peaks. That's a rather interesting description, and also the fact that it's going to be told in like stop motion animation using McFarland toys. That's really interesting. Also, McFarland's Productions is doing a Thumbs TV series. Thumbs was a comic book written by Sean Lewis with artwork by Hayden Sherman. I absolutely love that book. Highly encourage everybody to go out there, grab the graphic novel, or find the back issues, check them out, and really excited to see how this could develop as a TV series. Of course, Sean Lewis has been working with McFarland recently on King Spawn, right? Yeah, it's King Spawn, right? Isn't it? Yeah, sure. It's one of the Spawn books. Gal Gadot has been cast as the evil queen in a Snow White live-action film. I have not really been on board with these Disney live-action film adaptations. They don't really quite work for me, aside from Aladdin. I love the hell out of Aladdin. But Snow White's a pretty solid story. I think Gal could really sink her teeth into this role of the evil queen. I think I, I'm more excited to check it out, but we'll see. Watch the Morbius trailer. I don't know how I feel about this one. The Morbius trailer is interesting. There are parts of it are really liked. I like some of the effects, the way it looks. Some of it seems very typical, very, very cliche, but we'll see. I mean, I'm excited to see what Jared Leto does with this character, what they, how they imagine this character, but this book, I mean, this book, this, this movie keeps getting delayed out, delayed out, delayed out. It's finally happening. Seems like it's connected and tied into that Spidey Sony verse, which is somehow tied into the MCU. So I guess this is the official MCU Morbius, possibly, probably, I don't know. 
That being said, the trailer had moments that looked really cool, and it had moments that looked really wonky. So as a trailer, it's just kind of okay, but I'm still excited to check out the movie, as I am most any big tentpole comic book movie or anything like that. The Book of Boba Fett, I watched that trailer. Um, that was an interesting enough trailer. Seems like Boba Fett's going to be taking over um, the uh, criminal empire of Jabba the Hutt, but he wants to do things a little bit differently. The trailer doesn't show you too much, but it does show you that it's going to have that kind of tone and atmosphere set by The Mandalorian. That was successful for two seasons especially, so it seems like it would be a natural progression to lead that into this. I'm excited to check it out. It looks pretty decent. So that's what we got for you this week. What's coming up here at PCP? Well, first of all, over at Dylan's Horror Show tonight, join us for a look at Tales from the Dark Side, the classic movie, basically Creep Show Part 3, a really great fun movie. If you've never seen it, check it out, and then join us tonight on Dylan's Horror Show when we talk about it. Rockin' Robbie Live returns tomorrow night. That's going to be Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Time. We're going to be talking about comic books, movies, pop culture, and a whole lot more. And yes a Marvel in the 90s. Also join me over at The Experience on Monday at 5 p.m. Central Time with Rex and John from Dynamic Forces, where we got some great comics for sale and some great conversation. So that's what we got. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Comment below anything you think about any of this news that dropped this week or anything else. We appreciate the support. Join us over at popculturephilosophers.com for podcasts and a whole lot more. And you can support the channel over at patreon.com slash pcp like our fine friends for instance, Josh Brewington, an absolute fantastic dude who's been supporting us for a good long while. Josh Station, we really do appreciate it. Anyway, we're out. Y'all keep on living, keep on rocking, and keep on station.